Many players, they move out of sports due to injuries, but some of injuries can be managed or the occurrence can be reduced. One of the key areas which most high performance athletes lack, it is the prehab. Prehab, it means uh, doing activities that reduces the occurrence of injuries. Why do we say reduces the occurrence of injuries? You cannot totally stop because some injuries, they come as accidents, they come as overloading, etc. So today we are going to introduce one of the key elements of prehab uh, using uh, flexivit bands. Hope it will be helpful and you'll be able to transform many players who want to last longer and who want to get into a professional way of approaching their way of doing things. Many starts training when the warm up, the group warm up starts, but it is definitely wrong. There's need to have your bands start the prehab, and by the moment other starts, already your muscles will be ready to start. So today, I'm also feeling a bit stiff. While I'm here in the gym, I'm going to do a prehab session, which I believe will help many. Thank you. We have two main types of bands, the flex mini and the flex reboot, and they all work together. So I'll start by using the flex reboot, from there then I'll move to the flex mini. By the way, this is Nyasha Chalandula from Major Sports Consultants, Kamal Africa. Thank you. Okay, so usually the main muscles are the ones that are challenging, especially the hamstrings, calves, etc. So the main objective is to make sure that you loosen them so that by the way you start, you'll be ready. Because usually these muscles are the ones that end careers. But we'll start by the activation of uh, the main muscles using the bends. We we'll also move into passive tissues. We we'll explain as you go on. Okay. Okay, so my count will be 20 per, act per each activity. So now I can feel mainly my hamstring, I can feel even my glutes, I can feel them, that they are stretching. Definitely you have to balance. If it's 20 this side, you can't do the other side. Also try to move it up to 20. This is the number that we'll be using from both ends. So you see that instead of just starting by running, or if it's in football by kicking the ball, you are starting by activating the muscles while at least your, your body is at rest. So why is it very important? It's very important because it uh, prevents those injuries that have to do with the uh, the approach that you need in play. There's no way you can start by kicking the ball and uh, do it at a lower intensity, especially if the demand comes. Let's take for a simple example, someone has passed you. Obviously, you have to stretch for the ball. Okay, now, we take it sideways. Now, we are pressing the inner part of the thigh, at the same time, cleaning the passive tissues of the groin. Many, they complain that I'm having groin injuries. What can I do to prevent that? Definitely, pre-up is the answer. We have the answer for all those things. So now I can feel that I'm stretching those areas. I can feel I'm stretching well and I'm activating those passive tissues. Uh, at the end of the program, I will just explain a bit uh, the issue of passive tissues in comparison to active tissues. Okay. Okay. Now I change. I come to this side as well. Both sides need to be balanced. I know there are many types of bands that uh, are in the market, but uh, frankly speaking, the flex of it are on top of the market in terms of the durability and even the, the strength of the, these bands. For they come in different colors and different strengths, but I've seen in terms of durability, I've been using these for more than uh, two to three years now and uh, I never had any problem. Okay, now. We want to combine here the top side and here. We bring it on. It's another activation. There you can do. Remember, this joint will be moving. And most knee injuries they come because of the stiffness of such areas. But already, the moment you begin to deal with this part of the body, uh, of the lower limbs, already you're activating and making sure that you avoid the occurrence of uh, these knee injuries. Okay, from there you shift it to the other side, always remember 
to balance up and to shift to both sides doing this work on one side. I know it will give a lot of activation. I'm feeling even much better where I can do any activity. Okay, now from here, remember you need to work with the glutes. Okay, so you take it sideways. Sideways. Now I can feel like usually the glutes are tight and uh, make sure that you listen at the same time. Okay. Make sure that you listen. The, the moment you start exercising, the moment you start your main activity, your body should be fully ready to work or to function. Okay. Wonderful. Like what I said, you have to balance both ends. Now we're moving to the other side. We're moving to the other side. Okay, one of the key muscles to be activated is the calf muscles. But they have to be activated separately. If you check now, I focus mainly on activating the calf muscle. Why? Because the whole load of the body comes onto the calf and also the ankles. So that calf muscle has to be activated and also the joint. If you see now, you begin to rotate. Now I rotate it from the ankle so that it becomes ready for the TV. Let's look at uh, football where you're supposed to be kicking and etc. There should be that activation of those areas because they are going to be used. Now, come to the other side, start by activating the calf. Activate the calf from there. After the activation, rotate from different sides. You rotate from different sides. You rotate from different sides. So it's something that is very, 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 very important. And remember, there's a side that we haven't touched yet. It is now, the hamstring, so you can bring it on or the chair and start activating now uh, the, the quads. You need to activate the quads as well because they were dealing mainly with the hamstring and other side, but now to be made of activating the quads as well, they also need to be activated because of the action. Speak of shooting, speak of everything. You want to avoid imbalance. Remember, one of the main causes of uh, most injuries, it is the muscle imbalance. So if you have activated one side, one side is ready, other one is not ready. What is going to happen to the other side? So it is very, very, very important that you activate all the sides. Okay, so this is dealing with mainly the main muscles. But most injuries when they come, they don't, they don't only go the main muscles, they are <laughs> what they call <coughs> passive tissues. Like these muscles, hamstring, here, calf, we call them the main muscles. But they've got what we call uh, passive tissues. These are active tissues, the main muscles, because they contract, they relax. But they are tissues that are passive. For example, the, the ligaments. Okay, for example, let's say like uh, the groin injury, how does it come? When I shoot, there is an automatic movement that happens on the joint. So I, sh I should be able also to deal with the ligaments. How do I uh, activate them? Okay, now from there you go to a smaller bend. Remember I said there are different sizes, like this one is very, 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 very strong in comparison with others, but I'm sure they help us combine. Now you're activating, here you're activating the passive tissues and at the same time also the glutes and everything is being activated because you want them to be strong enough any movement that you do uh, in the field of play or in any high performance uh, despite uh, the type of sport that you'll be doing as long as it's high performance. Okay, now you go single leg, why? Because you need to balance maybe on the first one, it was mainly working on one side. But now, you are assured that, rest assured that both sides are dressed separately. 
the resistance is uh, working.